Axe one. An Axe one. Die, die, die. Or Nightmare or Venom. Alright, now this is because we're farming for the content, right? And if you're farming content, you're gonna say, look, in Venom into a high roll Snickle Skull, it's gonna be BAM. YouTube galore. If you're trying to play optimally, you're taking the die, 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 just getting that nice Act 1 damage. Or, if you really want to be crazy, you take Nightmare for the Act 3 investment. The second Blizzard, maybe, to get extra damage. Yeah, but when Blizzard unupgraded, right? So that Blizzard was not upgraded. How much is that going to do? We took a curse for a rare and we skipped content. Yeah, like I don't know how much that second blizzard would actually do. Anyways, we'll take the data die. We're gonna play optimally. Omega low optimal. Omega low pitimal. Um I wanna do elites, but I don't quite yet got the juice for it. We took a curse and we skipped. No, can't do that. They're all fun cards, but they're also not all very good cards. So, like for Act 1 at least. Oh man. Alright, like, so not use a Gambler's Bill in the Elite, you think? And not upgrade Hologram? Yeah, I think upgrading Hologram was probably the play. There's a lot of things we could have done differently. Oh, Crippling versus Noxious. That's a tough choice. They're both very good. Noxious has more staying power for the boss here. Noxious has more staying power for the boss once they split. Crippling is much better for like elites and hallway fights. Uh, I think we go for the staying power here. It's just really good for the boss fight. Let's remove this. So the shop is more juicy, I suppose. The alternative was to upgrade Noxious Zooms there. And now we have a choice. Do we want to go for an early elite, like maybe get triple centuries? Well, nah, we're not ready for that. Die, die, die. Terror. Okay, so far so good. Let me go use the bathroom real quick. Escape plan. That's really bad for the gremlin knob, but it's good every other time. So we're gonna take it. And Bane was kind of interesting because we want front loaded. All right. All right. Looking back, I think the biggest mistake was not saving Thorn Pot or a better potion for the heart. Because we absolutely had like some decent potions, like the Thorn Pot or whatever, or like, Focus Pot or Thorn Pot. And we we didn't save we didn't save for the heart. I think we missed up there. We we definitely didn't play our potions properly. So if anything that changed, I'll, I'll put that run on YouTube just because it's kind of instructive. I I was really bad with my potion usage. Saving thorn was probably the play. And here is between poison pot and cloak and dagger. I'll take the cloak and dagger. I meant to do footwork. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Yeah. Potions change that hard fight. Absolutely. Cam's right. Thanks for the follow, buddy.
Dagger for AoE. I mean, we already have Dada Dada, but it's still really good. All right. Let's go upgrade some cards. So I want to upgrade. Dagger is not a bad upgrade. Neutralize is not a bad upgrade. Yeah, no worries to putting on that, but I like to think about... Because I, I, I think that round should have been a win, but... It could have been a win. I was just thinking about it. Potion usage. Um, lots of good upgrades here. Let's do this. Bag of Prep is... Ah, wait, that's probably a skippable. I mean, Bag of Prep is still really good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was lucky. Sometimes that just happens. I'll take it. And Mother Sup Sup Superior, thank you for the follow. Riddle with holes. If we get Akabeko, then yes, but otherwise I'm saying no. Let's upgrade this bad boy. Find some potions. What do you guys think about explosive versus region versus all this? Um, explosive is probably better for the elite. Absolutely. Okay, let's think about this upgrade card, Blessing of the Forge. If I upgrade for the boss fight, like my strikes and defenses, it gives me value. But there's slimes, and the slimes means I'm not going to draw my cards as often. So maybe the burst is just better. Now region, it's probably better than speed pot. Speed pot could save you the amount of life the region is going to give you. But it's not guaranteed. Yeah, so the silent typically doesn't like backup prep as much because you already have a backup prep. But you're still getting 9 card opening hand, which is still really good. So you can get into your important power sooner. Cycling to the good stuff. 9 card opening hand gives you a lot of options. And if you get a bullet time, of course. The, runs are go the games are going good. We had a heart loss just now. The defects. I think the watcher we... The watcher we messed up 100%. Yo, thank you, Hex QT. See, but probably saves as much as life. It totally depends, though. I, I think I'm gonna go with the, the philosophy that I'd rather just get more of what I don't have right now, which is the region is probably better. This is a must play. Seeing that is really good. I wonder if I just take damage here. Because I have so many important cards to play. Hello from Asia. What's up, Lin? I think we just take the 10, ten to the face here. It might even be better, instead of playing forward, to play Dada Dada Dagger Spray because we have Explosive Pot and we have Gremlin Horn. Although I should probably think about saving. When you have Gremlin Horn, I think it's worth it to be as aggro as possible. It's 25, 29 damage. Um. Or we can try to save life and try to save the explosive pot for the slime boss. That's a lot of damage though. I could kill this guy right now. Where I could save. All right, this is fine. I'm trying to get full full region value. Okay, so basically we took like no damage to that fight. 
Sniper Skull. Okay, now remember when I was in Venom first floor zero? I couldn't have predicted it. But Sniper Skull was nuts. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so Piercing Will versus Dash. I like Piercing Will a lot. I think Dash is a little bit better with Terror for the big bursts. But now you guys know this seed has Venom, Sniper Skull in Act 1 all together. Keep that in mind, guys. This seed, it's, it's, it's bonkers. What we can do is farm content and pretend we didn't know this interaction happens. Now that's inauthentic, so I won't do it. But there's some YouTubers who will. The Astro Terror is better here, yeah? Alright. Footwork for Act 2 is really good. But I think we just upgrade Dash, get for the bigger, bigger hits here. And we want to try to get a decent burst. But I think Sneko Skull uh, Nox Shrooms already wins the fight. I get this out of the deck now. The Nox Shrooms is. Once I split him, the Nox Shrooms just carries the fight. Um, do we do Terror now? Or do we try to block as much as possible and save Terror for after effects? Because we can save life. Okay, let's, let's do some thinking. I think this fight's going to be won no matter what. I'm going to save Terror. They impeached Donald Trump? Wait, what? Wait, the impeachment went through? Holy shit, I got to re read into this after this. Wait, it went through the, the... No, the Senate is where it's... Yes, yes, yes. So the Senate is probably going to deny it. That's the thing. The, the whole thing is that the House is voting through, but the Senate is on his side. I mean, I think we knew it was going to go to the Senate. I, I think everybody knows that the Senate is going to deny it. I thought it was... Basically, the impeachment process went through to the Senate, and now that, that's where it's going to stay. For now. If I split this guy now, I don't I don't get weakened, right? If I don't get weakened, then the dash is better. Uh, one second. Twenty five. I can't prevent the weekend anyways. 9, 16. I can do perfect split. That's not worth it. Wait. Think about Bill Clinton. That this is a, okay. So remember how we talked about bullet time, bag of prep, and grum, uh, ring of snake. I wonder if bullet time is worth it here. Burst has some not that great targets. Like burst, cloak, and dagger. That's about it. I think bullet time actually makes the most sense. So what do you guys think about running pyramid bullet time? Approve. Or do you guys think we could do Black Star? Because we do have Sneko Skull, Grumman Horn, and pretty decent powers. We can probably manage elites. Oh, yeah. Getting Pyramid with Bag and Ring of Snake is tricky. But we do have Pyramid and Bullet Time. So we can often get really big turns. I'm going to do it. That's, you know, that, that's, that's content. Okay. I still want to do elites here. I just want to see... One elite is not good enough. That's a lot of upgrades. What would the upgrades... What am I looking for upgrades-wise? 
Footwork. Probably bullet time. Footwork for sure. We don't have a lot of upgrades right now. I should manage some elites, but it is not perfect here. Two elites? What do you guys think? One of them is really early. Book of Stabbing is kind of rough, but I'm going to take it. I want to go for the elite elites. Look at that bullet time. Oh, baby. That's some money. Clear up my hand so Pyramid doesn't get clogged. We're cooking with gas, baby. Now we're cooking with gas. Bullet time too. Oof. Going well. Backstab? Makes some bullet time worse, right? Like, backstab is very good for the deck in general. But it goes against the whole bullet time first term potential. And since we have bullet time, as a main way of playing cards. Riddle of Holes is a little bit better because we can hold on to it and get decent damage for free. That's not worth playing into the deck though because you don't want to draw into Riddle of Holes. It's unplayable without bullet time. Backstab is really good. I think we're taking the backstab anyways. Even though it's a little awkward. Ooh, membership card. We just snap picked that, yeah? That's a catalyst. I can afford the catalyst. We do want to start moving. That's a captain's wheel we just passed up on, which is really good. Maybe that was better than membership card. The problem with membership card is I, I always snap take it. Oh, captain's wheel, I couldn't afford it. It's only this cheap because of membership card. Yeah, I couldn't afford it anyways. So, catalyst is pretty decent. Right now, I don't have that much poison. But I, I definitely... When you have low energy like this, and you have pyramid, it's really decent to have something like this. Removing a strike would be great, though. That's the only problem. And deflect does help me get rid of my hand space. Discovery is really good, too. I mean, there's so many good... Th I only have so much gold. So, both of them now is probably not worth it. I can wait for a better turn. That's the beautiful thing about Pyramid. So, now we can do this. And we'll save Catalyst for after the fact. We want a full block, so we're gonna do as much block as we can. And then Catalyst should win. Fuck. Okay. This is awkward. So, there's math involved because I want to save as much life as possible. So, if I do Catalyst now, he's guaranteed dead next turn. That's worth it. Worth to take extra damage for that, so I don't have to deal with this hit. Deadly poison. Okay. Back up with build plans. Oh, we got duplicate. Okay, now things are getting interesting. Okay, so we can duplicate the Noxious Plus. <clears throat> we can duplicate bullet time. So that's a little awkward, but here's what you can do. Two bullet times means you draw it twice as often, and then so you can play more cards. When you draw both of them, you just keep one of them up, and the next turn you have both time again. That seems really good. There's also the world where you're doing Catalyst twice, or you're doing Noxious Sumus plus twice with Snackle Skull, which is very good power. 
but I think bold time is really thematic and it rounds out the energy stuff. So this is going to be really, really interesting. We're going to have energy relic now with that in mind. I wish I could afford this. I'll buy a potion here. That crippling cloud would have been very nice. So I'm going to upgrade the catalyst here. Alright, so we didn't get... Rayform? What if I do tools of trade to get more bullet time quicker? I could also hold on to Rayform. Once I have poison going, it's already game over. I can hold on to that. I can also just play it now. Because if I just take no damage, I can focus on doing damage. And once Noxious swims is out, the fight should be over, right? That was my biggest burst because I used all my bursty cards. They printed of all that last two turns. Wait, what? I saw someone doing the same run at the end of Act 1. They had membership, Curry, Mall Bank, and Golden Idol. And Wait, wasn't that me, Aaron? Or somebody else? Somebody else got that same luck? Is it worth just doing saving life here? Because we should be able to win, right? We give Cav, this thing goes cool. Probably fine. Uh, not the best turn, though. Not the best turn. Saving bullet time, not worth, yeah. Like, I could save bullet time for next turn, but not necessary because Dagger Spray just already wins. Alright, that lead took some damage. <laughs> Whoa, now we have Nightmare with Bullet Times and Pyramid and all this other sh crazy shenanigans. The Deadly Poison Plus is really promising as well. But Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare. Okay, Nightmare just breaks open the deck. What are the Nightmare targets? Nightmare Catalyst? Nightmare Fumes? Nightmare Footwork? Just Nightmare, yes, all the way. Alright, this is good. Wow. 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 I just want to take less damage though. See, now you start mitigating damage. Like, that's not mitigating damage. I should have maybe brought something that had block, I guess. If we get a sustain relic, that'd be really good. We need a sustain relic. Come cards really good. I just need sustain, sustain, sustain. Whetstone. I could probably get rid of Whetstone now because it's gonna hit strikes, and I like strikes are nice. Like Whetstone's a really good relic, but. If there's ever, with the deck that I currently have, there's ever thing, something I want to skip, it's probably a whetstone. So the deck's running towards like a poison kind of thing going on. And uh, any other relic I want. But I'm also in a situation where like I'm kind of getting low on life, so every upgrade helps. Uh, 
I just need all the strength that I can right now. We got Nightmare Catalyst. Mm hmm. Or Nightmare Crippling Cloud. I think if we get second bullet time, Nightmare Crippling Cloud is pretty good. So you know what I could do is Nightmare Crippling Cloud and then just hold and then bullet time next turn, but. Or maybe even backstab. Hmm. Will. I want to do a second elite, but now I'm not too sure. We could try to dig for bullet time here, but we we'll do piercing. I want to go for full block, I think. I'm looking for bull I'm looking for bullet time. Um, I want to free up space for bullet time, but. So maintain the weekend. That works. So what's a good nightmare? I don't think I have a good nightmare right now. Another bullet time coming up. This nightmare dash is pretty good. Okay, we're surviving, but oh, lecture is pretty good. Okay, I was going to do an elite. We just did the slavers, so it's gonna be gun leader, book of stabbing. The deck has catalyst nightmare, so I can very easily kill the gun leader and book of stabbing if I just get the catalyst stuff. So I think we're fine. It's gonna survive. So we have nightmare. It's not that risky. Well, what if we gamble view right now to find Nightmare Catalyst? Too crazy, right? What would be a good Nightmare target at the moment? Neutralize? I think Nightmare Catalyst is a win condition. So, we just hold on to Nightmare. Then, we, then that means we need a second bullet time. So what if we hold on to bullet time and Nightmare here? Because this turn I don't need to use bullet time or Nightmare. So what if I do this? We'll do this, a full block, and we look for Nightmare Catalyst, that's the win condition. We have a second Nightmare, so now... So now doing Gambler's Roof for looking for Catalyst makes sense because we have the following turn we have Lethal. Yo, take care, Jimbo. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We can take a hit here, yeah? Small little hit. Or we could do, or we could use one bullet time, I suppose. I can nightmare the footwork, but nah, I think Nightmare Callus is just the play. Okay. Get your attack pocket to get extra block. So we're looking for the catalyst, and we still have no poison out. So we can do piercing well, crippling cloud right now just to get the poison going. And we're still holding on for catalyst. I wonder if I should do Gamma's Brew to get 
poison out quicker. I could also just do survivor defend die to die. What would I survivor? That's the thing. What, what am I surviving? The crippling cloud? Because I don't really need it. It's kind of expensive. Say piercing well for a rainy day. Like right now is a t good time to do piercing well. But we finally get the nightmare catalyst, so now is the time to do piercing well, yeah? Basically, that was our win condition. We just need to set it up to happen. It happened at the end of the run, or at the end of the fight, whatever. But whatever. It, it, that's what that was the plan. We got backflip. We have deflects. Now backflip sometimes is useful. If I upgrade both the time, I could. If, with an upgraded both the time, I could use backflip to play even more, do even more, right? Because right now backflip is really awkward. Hey, Rigio, thanks for the follow, buddy. Backflip is awkward because I have pyramid and I have three energies, so it doesn't really do much. But if I upgrade both the time. Then it starts to make sense. On the other hand, deflect just kind of frees up space in my hands. I play deflect. De nah, but we do have a very specific deck. We want to hit Nightmare and Bullet Times as often as possible. Keeping the deck small is very good. The backflip is only good if I upgrade Bullet Time. Other, other than that, then it's just a dead card. So, what, what are my upgrade targets? That's the important question. If I'm going to upgrade, is Bullet Time going to be the upgrade or. Or is uh, like Deadly Poison going to be upgrade or Piercing Whale or Crippling Cloud? There's a lot of other upgrades that can like... Ascension, Asc Silent 20, Ascension 20, Silent Wimmer is the highest, but every time I play her, I sigh and die a little inside. Yeah. Wait, I think she has a lot of tools to win against the heart and to do well in Ascension 20. I don't die, I, I don't die inside when I play her. I think she's fun. I think it's only good if I'm gonna upgrade both time. And right now I'm not going to. So do this. All right, let's upgrade. I think this is better. With less energy, we play it that less often though. I just want to start removing here. Toolbox. Grand finale. Wait, grand finale can always be played. You think this is worth it? What's up, Felty? You haven't made a catch. Hey, no problem, man. Hope you enjoyed the, the videos. With Verdict Pyramid Grand Finale, it's 50 AoE. What do you guys think about this? Grand Finale, uh, every strike does 3 extra damage. It's like 3 strength for my strikes. Second Noxious Tombs. Takes 5 Ryans to get to the Grand Finale. One sec so think of it as, as putting a um, Stone Calendar in your deck. No, I have Pyramid. I my whole hand is held. So if I just hold on to this on the fifth turn, I have 50 AoE. So like a stone calendar that uh, operates a little bit quicker. It's a stone calendar you put into your deck and procs faster. I have pyramid. My whole hand is in my hand. I have, I have wallet plants. Um... So yeah, Stone Calendar on turn 5. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need it. Save money for removal and other stuff. I want to remove a strike for sure. I wonder if I take the second Fumes because we have Sneko Skull. So Fumes are just adding a lot of poison. And right now, I think we try to focus on maybe Nightmare and Footwork or things like that. Maybe actually the second Fumes is probably not even necessary. Keep the deck super small. Secret technique though is good, right? Then this is probably worth it. This helps me find bullet time more consistently. Wait, tell me secret technique is not actually amazing here. We take this, we upgrade it. This is another chance to find bullet time. Tell me that's not unironically amazing there. 
I might even want to upgrade secret technique because I think what we're going to do is try to just survive a little bit for this guy's fight uh, for the first couple of hits. And we're going to just Nightmare Catalyst bombard him. So the, I don't need to rest for this fight. There's a world where we probably take some damage, but I think we can mitigate it. My YouTube video show up without a thumbnail. All right. What were we doing? We were upgrading the secret technique, yeah? And that classic man's with them guys. I yeah, know, I know, but it's consistent. That's the thing. It might just be YouTube. I don't know, guys. It might just be YouTube. All right. So, secret technique upgrade, and we're trying to go for catalyst. All right, let's go. Okay, we got Nightmare. And we got the ability to get rid of his artifacts. I think... We hold on here. We just wait for Nightmare Bullet Time Catalyst to win. So, we play Noxious. We get rid of this. I think I just want to free up space. Free up space. Piercing we ought to get rid of more of his things. Do I just bullet time here because we have another one coming up? Well, I don't want them to take my catalyst. That's the only thing. What are they going to take? They might take bullet time or secret technique, which is unfortunate. So we'll do this. I just want to get rid of his artifacts. We got rid of his artifacts, and now all we need is Nightmare Catalyst for the win. Game over. He didn't even take my um and bolt time, so. So we get that back, and now we nightmare catalyst here. He kept my bullet time, damn it. That's just full block, and then next turn we have lethal, yeah? Yeah, hey, perfect lethal next turn, check this out. So, we have bullet time, nightmare catalyst for the win. Cute little deck. Cute little deck. Okay. What goes better with this cute little deck? Now, okay, look. In Venom Slanker Skull, you guys are like, oh, that's amazing. It's, it's, it's not the play here. All right? The play is Corpse Explosion. This handles so much of my uh, deficiencies. So we really want Energy Relic. So I'm thinking I just take Philosopher's Stone. We, so here's the problem. We're taking some damage and we don't have sustain. So one problem with this deck right now is that we are taking some damage and we don't have sustain. So maybe I don't give him one strength because the heart's going to be a problem as it is. Yo, thank you, Solinci. The deck's block is very bad. So what if I just Astral Lab the two strikes in the defend and really depend on bullet time for energy? Like, do we just hard commit to double bullet time for energy and get rid of these two strikes in the defense? Let's see what we get. Getting Slaver's Color is not bad, though. The energy is going to help me just do everything more consistently. But the deck is a glorified bullet time uh, cycling machine, so I guess energy is not as important. Here's a screenshot. Let me check it out. That's weird. That is weird. Huh. I'm not sure. It might be a YouTube thing. 
I just don't see how much the extra energy helps me from Slaver's Collar. If it only helps me in the turns where I don't have bullet time. You rather you rather get rid of the backstab? I think the backstab helps me mitigate some damage by killing things sooner. That happens to you do too, Bikako? So it doesn't happen to any any other videos but my videos? It's weird. Alright, so thematically, right? Farm content, sorry. We're, it's, I want this to be a YouTuber and we're here talking about YouTube. Astrolab is cool. It's more RNG. We get random upgrades. And it's really thematic to do double bullet time. And we have secret technique plus. So bullet time is pretty consistent. And if we use that for energy, then we can do other things. Only my videos. That's weird. I'll look that up. And you think get rid of the innate magical stab? I think the back stab gets rid of itself and it's pretty useful. Got another deadly poison. It's in the reflex is in the bane. I guess it's okay. It's better than a strike. Honestly, not the worst things. So, what do you guys think about acrobatics for the reflex that we got? And it helps us get bigger bullet times. So, like, let's say we upgrade bullet time, right? No, but here's the thing. Here's the way the acrobatics is going to work. We do it so that we can play extra cards with bullet time. So if we upgrade bullet time, we can play some cards, then acrobatics, and then bullet time. But we don't have the energy for that, so... No thank you. I don't have the sustain. I, w I want to do cap, but I, I can't afford it right now. Probably better to do this. I'd rather not take any damage. So we now we got bullet time guaranteed, right? That's the beautiful thing. That's why secret technique is a third bullet time. It's fantastic. Now, I want to prevent damage, right? So, this guy's hitting me. They, all should, they should all be dead, but, you know. That's how we clean this fight up. So, another Cloak and Dagger versus all this stuff. Cloak and Dagger Plus. I think we just keep the deck small because it's operating so well, right? But for the hearts, we want to make sure we have... Decent block. Because... We're going to have the poison, no problem. I think we might have to nightmare something else for the heart. So instead of nightmaring the catalyst, that we're gonna have to nightmare maybe ideally a blur or something else. But the cloak and dagger plus doesn't seem that useful here. Who's the boss? It's one extra block, but no, no thank you, no thank you. I could probably keep this in the deck, right? This is, how much how much do we have right now? If I don't play bullet time right now, keep it in my hands. We have, we have a lot of damage, right? Eleven. We have all this. We have the damage. We, we can keep bullet time here. Could even do more, honestly. This is fine.
What's up, Arthur? Alright, so... The only problem is this reflex is really bad because the bullet not upgraded. I should probably upgrade the bullet temps. Here we want to find Catalyst. And we also kind of want to... I guess I can get prepared for the reflex, but I, maybe we want to get Nightmare for the Catalyst. Seems fair. We can actually kill this guy with Nightmare Catalyst. So for right now, what's the best thing I could do? Lexi was the best thing for me to do right now. Or what if we just use our potion? So we can do Nightmare Catalyst. Okay, this is good. That's 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 huge. Like that was actually so good. Buffalo chicken waffles, thank you, man. Got the blur. Okay, so cow traps is really good for the heart damage. The damage is okay, we have the catalyst. Blur is a nightmare target, and that actually just makes the deck, I think, unstoppable. We can handle this. This is a bad turn. <laughs> Fuck. block here. Okay. We need corpse explosion. Okay. So I think we built up now and then we, we gotta find corpse explosion. Problem is what am I nightmare? What's the nightmare target here? Maybe... Maybe just neutralize because I want to find Corpse Explosion before I kill this guy. We're looking for corpse explosion, yeah? I'm trying to think of an out in the world where I don't get corpse explosion. So, what's like the play if I don't get it? I, I should make my poison over here. If I don't get corpse explosion. If I don't get lethal. I think we gotta play around the event that worst case scenario. So, we don't get corpse explosion, but we got catalyst though. Fuck. Sucks. Hmm. We need bullet time. There's the bullet time. Tingsha. Hmm. I think she's okay. Okay. Do we ever rest for this? Or I feel like we upgrade one of the bullet times so that we can actually do like reflex bullet time or as a thing. Because 
Also, if Void becomes a thing, so if I get a Void in any of these fights, then I can't play Bullet Time. So getting an upgraded Bullet Time is going to be useful. Also, the Blur is not bad either because we're going to probably make that a Nightmare Target at some point. Okay. That makes the Reflex that I got from Astrolab not as awkward. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. What if we just piercing well now? Taking a small little hit yet again. I guess we can try to mitigate damage altogether. Like Noxious Tombs is great and all, but I wanted to preserve all my life for the elite. I think this fight is relatively easy. Granted, if we get the right trolls. So this wasn't necessarily the right draw. At all. Because all my big attacks involve hitting Thorny Boy. Otherwise I could kill this guy no problem. This is 8 poison. With terror. It's 13. Okay. That's unfortunate, because... I'm trying to preserve life. Corp Explosion. That's enough damage, yeah? That got too fat? Ah, uh, maybe there's some awkward awkwardness going on. Some of them. Does this kill me? Does the reflect come first? I forget. What comes first? I'm pretty sure dash block comes first. Another footwork? Is it even necessary though? The deck's getting way too fat. It's got like some awkward cards. Like I, I, I want to remove the Bane and the Reflex and I want to remove the other two strikes, and I don't even need any of that stuff. Like, I don't need the strikes, I don't need any of this. For work, I'm barely playing because I don't have the energy for it. And we're gonna do Blurricade. I mean, having 6 dexterity against the heart would be very useful though. Because. Imagine doing Blurricade, but I only have 3 Dexterity. If you have 6 Dexterity, then the Blurricade makes sense. No? I was going to make the deck too fat. Awkward draws. Alright, let's go. This fight is a little bit troublesome. We need to get... Okay. So we got an early Nightmare, but we can't play it. Corpus Torsion is probably worth it here. So I think we do Blessings of the Forge just to get it out of the deck. And I think we do Blessing here. That guy's dead, yeah? So that allows us to play Footwork. Oh no. We... Ah. I guess we do Neutralize that and that allows us to play Footwork. So we lose the Weaken, but... If I kill, wait, if I kill them, I do get the energy back. I do have, I do have Gremlin Horn. So I just, I kind of fucked that up. I should have done Gremlin Horn. Then I got extra energy. Because now, now I don't gain access to the energy, right? Yeah, if I keep backstab, I, I get extra damage on the Repto. That's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things. But I kill both of them, get two energy, and I can play maybe Nightmare this turn, Nightmare Footwork this turn. So that was a misplay. Because Nightmare Footwork would have been play. But let's just do this. It sucks that you can't maintain that energy. I wonder what's a good Nightmare target. 
Nightmare Piercing Whale, maybe? We're just looking for Nightmare uh, Callus and just win the fight off that. So let's just hold on to it. I guess Bane's not bad either, but... Looking for Nightmare Catalysts. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I could never. I, I yeah, I just said that. I could have never if it worked. I, I just said that, yeah. I fucked that up. Because I could have done Bane, got two energy, and then bam, bam. It's okay though. We wanted this mitigate damage here, so I'm gonna do piercing. Attacking again. Wow, I didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that. I was hoping that he would take a break so I can catalyst. At this point, I don't even need to do Nightmare Catalysts. Yikes. Yikes. Is it that I can give enough poison that Catalyst wins? That's 10 poison. Is it better to get Corpse Explosion and try to out poison him? 6, 10, 16. 43, 43 times 3. I think we have lethal if we do corpse explosion. Mm. Molten egg. Okay, so acrobatics becomes good if I upgrade the second bullet time. Because now I can acrobatics the um now I can acrobatics the reflex. And if I get a bad draw, I guess acrobatics is not bad. Only if I upgrade the second bullet time, because then we're actually playing a lot of cards. I think it might be worth it. I mean, my hand's full a lot of the time because of pyramid. Bullet time clears out my hand. Acrobatics helps me redraw to more bullet times. Okay, this makes sense. It's a shop. Okay, meal ticket so we can get sustain at the second shop. It's not bad. Or we calculate pretty good if I want to just play. Wait, Strange Spoon gives us Nightmare again, potentially. Catalyst again, potentially. Crippling Cloud, Piercing Whale again. Strange Spoon just has a lot of benefits. So it makes Cloak Dagger worse because of the shivs, but getting Catalyst again, most of the time you probably don't need that. But getting Piercing Whale again could save the fight. Because only have one piercing whale, and that's gonna be a really big important card for the heart. Um, I want to remove a strike. Actually, instead of removing the strike, what is better? Yeah, we'll move a strike. The meal take is pretty good for sustain because I'm gonna have to go to the next shop, and I want to either get more upgrades. There's another shop coming up, and there's a shop in Act 4. I want to buy the fruit juice as well, though. So let's say I do, like, spoon remove fruit juice. And save my money for the next shop to remove another thing. How good is Ori Calcum? Not really. 
What about the big hits from the heart? Yeah, the big hits I want to manage with like acrobatics reflex and big blurricade. I want to think I want to get blurricade against the heart. So I want to make the deck consistent for blurricade or big footworks. So strange spoon, you don't think the multi hits are a threat? They still are a threat. I just don't know how much strange spoon is actually going to help me. Occasionally get piercing wall back. Or Catalyst or Crippling Cloud. Or Nightmare again. I guess it's RNG. And I feel like the RNG aspect makes me not like it. Because I can just get meal ticket and fruit juice. Ah, but Spoon is pretty cool and thematic. Fruit juice is really good. Let's go. I was going to go for another elite, but I feel like I'd rather... Alright, so let's take a look. We just fought... We just fought the Reptomancer, so it's Giant Head or the Nemesis. Both is really... My deck's pretty good against, right? Like, I just got to do Catalyst and then they're over. So the elite's pretty free. The only thing that I'm missing out is another upgrade. So what upgrade do I'm looking for right now? I want to upgrade the second bullet time. So that the acrobatics things is really smooth. I think we get rid of Bane. It's like we're moving a strike. Frozen egg. And I got two eggs at the end of the run, so not that great. Ah. Ori? No. I want to remove again, so we move the last strike. And then the deck is pretty good. If I remove the last strike, the deck is becoming much more consistent. Uh, the second acrobatics, so we can try to find bullet times as quick as possible. The, the quicker we find bullet time, the more we're just playing our whole deck. The reflex is worth keeping now because I have acrobatics and I have the bullet times upgraded. So survivor into reflex or acrobatics reflex bullet time is totally possible. So that's why reflex is worth keeping now. Yeah, this is a pretty bad shot. I guess we just remove strike here. Uh, I'm gonna drink the fruit juice. Wonder if I keep buy a fire pot just to uh, a po poison pot here, just to make my life easier. Nah, we save our gold. But my yeah, my philosophy with the acrobatics is that finding the bullet times and cycling through my deck faster, because the deck is thirty cards. So second acrobatics should really help me. I think. Alright, and I'm good here. I want to recall. Yeah, I thought Poison Pot would be pretty good just in a pinch, but we're fine. Alright, so get Corpse Explosion. Um, I want to get Corpse Explosion now, but I think right now is not a good time. We need this full block. So let's do this. Is that a good, was that a good time to Terror? We're not going to need Terror otherwise. Um, I'm gonna take a hit here, I think. I want to preserve life. But... Yeah, I think we preserve life. I could do Deadly Poison so that this guy dies easier to Corpse Explosion stuff. But we're gonna look for Bullet Time coming up. That was a really nice thing to hit. Okay, so we do Bullet Time right now. It's pretty damn good. The alternative, yeah, both times fine right now. Now, if we do acrobatics, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so seven. We draw a full hand with acrobatics, yeah. One, two. Three. Now we have options. So, Corpus Explosion, da da da, just kind of kills all the cultists. So, what do we need the least of? I think we don't need Piercing Well this turn. Or. I don't want to. I want to hold on to Piercing Well. So, what do we not need right now? Noxious Tombs, we're not playing it, I don't think. 
keeps hitting that guy. It's fantastic. Okay. Now, I want to do Nightmare Blurricade. I think that's really good. So, I want to do Piercing Well here. Now, there's also a world where I save Catalysts, right? I Nightmare Catalyst, and then I use two Catalysts for this first phase, and then two Catalysts for the second phase, and it's game over. I just want to mitigate as much damage as possible. Four work seems worth here. But maybe not on this specific turn. And yeah, maybe we just do Nightmare Callus, save two and two. I also just came to realize that Acrobatics draws way too many cards of reflex, so it's not even that good. Anyways, so now this is where we decide with Nightmare. If we Nightmare Catalysts, we're saving two of them for the next boss fight. Or we can just Nightmare Blur and Blur a kid. Hmm. I suppose the footwork, right? Yeah, I should have footwork before the leg sweep. Okay. So I want to acrobatics and see if I can draw into noxious fumes because I want to play it with bullet time. Or I can wait, I can just hold on to bullet time. For the next phase, no? Isn't this like lethal for next phase? It's your technique though. Wait, wait, wait. What if I keep the bullet time here? This is lethal in hand for next phase, yeah? Let's not, let's, let's not overthink it. Let's just do this. Okay. We could try to... Draw out. I might as well just play Noxious Humes. So that I can get that poison for next turn. Because I don't have full block next turn. And I want to preserve damage. Preserve life, I mean. This helps me get more poison started, but I'm gonna do this. So I wanna preserve life. Okay, so shield technique on leg sweep. That's a good that's that's how we take the acrobatics. That's how we take acrobatics reflex. To redo everything like this.
Beautiful. Works out beautiful. Alright. I'll say that's probably the hardest boss for me. Okay. This GG. Can take a hit, right? Say piecing well. Take a hit. Not much, man. I, I, maybe. I'm not sure why I look dead. My sleeve has been all over the place recently. Oh, I think it's the, the camera, dude. Probably the camera. How much, how much damage do we have? Okay, so I think the deck has got what it takes. For some reason, my program Sparkle Game is not working today. I don't know why. It's being a pain in the ass. We won't reform. Yeah, reform would be really nice here. Okay. Upgrading piercing will blur. So if we do blur arcade, having the blur plus can be really nice, yeah? Because we, we are kind of thinking about blur arcade. That's one way to win this fight is blur arcade. In fact, I think I want to force blur arcade. Either that or I do nightmare footwork and then just have one blur. But I think blur arcade is probably better with single footwork. So blur makes the most sense, yeah? All right. Acrobatics, since since we have bullet time plus, backflip is pretty good. But Dark Shackles mitigates a lot of damage. Either that or we take Duplication Potion. Or Artifact to stop the Vulnerable. Because all we gotta do is survive the first Two turns of the heart, and I think we win. So ancient for the vulnerable is probably better. And if we take backflip, it's not bad because we do have bullet time plus now. So backflip allows us to play more cards with the bullet times. Deep out nightmare seems un unnecessary. I think artifact for the vulnerable on the heart makes the most sense. Okay. Um. Backflip because we have bullet time. Yeah, plus seems fine. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's go. Wow, we have a lot of stuff here. 
So is it worth doing acrobatics to get a better bullet time? Absolutely, yeah. Maybe we can find footwork. Maybe we can find nightmare for blur or something. Got reflex. Okay. That's a good bullet time. I'll take it. Should I save? Should I save the blur? For Nightmare or just do Nightmare Callus and win the fight like that? Like, I have a lot of ways to win this fight. How about we just do that? We got Nightmare. Okay. But we need to start getting poison going. This is the, this is the fight that you, you have to worry about. This turn right here. I have bullet time, but... It's looking dicey. We can also do. We can also nightmare pierce the whale. Um, we can nightmare pierce the whale, and then we have corpse explosion on this guy right now, right? Or is corpse explosion better on this guy? And we go for the guaranteed lethal. I think corpse explosion is better on this guy. Because we can kill him quicker. Do an armor piercing. I have catalyst coming up, but it's not enough. So this is why we take piercing well. Question. Huh. Piercing well just covers this this turn, yeah. Is it worth taking four damage here? So that's game over. So 125 plus seven. It's already game over, but let's guarantee it like this. Tactician Predator Deflect. We have Bullet Time Predator. I don't need it. I already have Backflip Acrobatics. Tactician is not good. Tactician is okay. Nah, it's not good. Nah, we're good. The deck's perfectly fine. Let's go. That's an early catalyst, so getting catalyst out early is not bad. It's not a very good opening hand, so like I kind of want to look for bullet time. Because I want to get corpse crippling all that stuff out. If I can get gold time, that'd be sane. We got bullet time. That's worth it, right? Because we can save secret technique for nightmare. Because what we want to do is nightmare blurricade this fight, yeah? Or Nightmare Footwork, but I think Nightmare Blair is better. So. I think we just bullet time now. Get out the poison and get just get Catalyst ticking. That's, like, that's good enough for Catalyst. Get the damage going. We don't need to like do anything crazy with it. And then focus on Nightmare Blur. Or we can save secret technique to guarantee Nightmare Blur since 
I'm not really needing to block right now. Oh, this is fine. Get the weekend for the rest of his life. And this is totally fine for poison. Alright. Oh, I forgot to artifact, but no. I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. I would like to get that's not possible though. I mean, it's hard for this fight, bro. I need multi-hit to not come now. So what we need right now is like a really big one, two, three. The acrobatic should just deck cards because of the slams and the wounds. I need bullet time quicker. Fuck. Acrobatics actually caused me to lose, I think, because the pyramid and the wounds and the statuses were too much. Maybe not Nightmare of the Blur. I mean... If I don't remember the blur... Acrobatics doesn't even draw anything though. Because my hand's pretty much full. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can hit bullet time. Two of the bullet times are a secret technique. Yeah, but, okay, I mean, it draws something, but... 
If I get bullet time, do I even survive though? I think Nightmare Piercing was probably better. Maybe, because I'm not really actually getting to utilize the blur when Piercing Will at least prevents the big hits like this. I mean the multi-hits, and then the big hits I can probably handle, right? Well, Nightmare Callus, I don't think we do. Because I think we get Callus right away. Because Callus, 200 damage a turn. Like, look, look, he's about to be dead. And once I survive this, he's dead. But it's just more proactive to get all that stuff out of the way. Just do Callus right away and get a lot of poison. But I think Nightmare Pierce is probably better because we can stop the multi hits. Um, it's a little awkward the way the footwork operated, and like I don't get bullet time. Like, so this could be so much better because I have all these blurs. If I just get bullet time for the blurs on a big turn, I could do so much. But the problem is I'm, I'm holding onto all these wounds and I don't have the energy. So I think I'd rather have, like, this is where you want energy for this fight. Like, Slaver's Collar or something. Because there's voids, right? So the void messed me up. And then extra energy helps me just get rid of this crap so I can get rid of the slime and then do acrobatics, you know? Forward is the last card in the deck. So, forward last turn of the deck, that waited too long. Besides, I wouldn't even have time to play the forwards the way the bullet time worked. So, currently the way we're looking at is that nothing is going to do anything, right? Like, there's no amount of block I can get right now. 27, 28 minus 6. So, we're looking at 22, right? So, 22 plus 13 35. We don't have enough. So, this is the only play we have. Damn. Jetter best. Damn. Damn it, I'm close.